using that same example.
so that you can play with it in terms of technology that affects one and not the other. There are a couple of other ways that you can use this model to represent social and political societal changes. Going back to the same basic axes that we're going to use a lot this year. All right. One way that you might see this represented, and this phrase goes in and out of vogue politically, but I've heard it a lot in the past several months again, the guns and butter argument. Oh, and by the way, it doesn't matter which good you represent on which axis as long as you can explain what you're doing if you have to draw something like this. Okay, it, it, there's no trick to which one always goes vertical. It just depends on how you want to set it up. All right, guns and butter. Now, this is an analogy for civilian goods and military goods. So where, as a country, do you want to put most of your resources in terms of building up your economy? If, for example, you want more civilian goods and you're not putting as much money into your military, then maybe you want to be closer to this axis down here. If you end up putting most of your money into your military spending, then maybe you are closer to this axis up here toward the gun side. Now, this is a choice not between two products because we're putting an awful lot of things in one basket if we're just calling this butter. Um, but it is looking at two product categories, which is another way to think about this model and how you might see this apply. One more thing that you might see in terms of product categories with this. is looking at it in terms of, um, let's call them consumables. Word. Or consumer goods. Goods that are bought, that are used, um, that are not used in production. You know, a computer that you buy to use at home is a consumer good. A computer that's bought, that's used in an office setting is not. So we're, we're talking about things that are bought by consumers or by individuals who belong to households. Now, on the other axis, we're going to put technology. Again, it's a really broad product category. But this is another one that you might see in a question. Now. The kind of thing that might be asked about this is where on your graph, let's throw some points on here, where on your graph among these points, A, B, C, D, or E, would the society want to operate to ensure future growth? Well, you're looking at this, it's like, uh, okay. Well, you never want to be down here because under the curve is bad. That's, that's not good for your economy at all because that tells you that something is unemployed or underemployed and you don't want to be there. And this one we know we can't get to with our current level of resources. So by process of elimination, it's either A or B. And here's the key to getting this right if you see a question like this. If you are closer to your technology axis, if you are putting more money into the development of technology, then that leads to the future possibility of pushing out your PPF. So the answer to that question among these points would be B, because it is closer to this axis. And if you understand it on that kind of a level, then you're doing pretty well with this graph. 